Hello and welcome to another edition of LDTV Sports as today we are covering a girls soccer matchup between the Eastern Vikings and the Lenape Indians. I'm Connor McGinn alongside my colleague Joe Melagrana. So Joe, what do you have to say about today's game? It's going to be a tough day I think for Lenape. Uh, they're coming in three and eight. Um, Eastern, a perennial uh, winner. Uh, they've won uh, nine out of the last ten conference titles. They just lost their first game in like 26 days, or 26 games, I should say. And the first time they lost to a South Jersey team, which was Cherokee, uh, in the last 68 games. They've been decimated with injuries, but people have been stepping up, and they haven't uh, they haven't taken their foot off the gas pedal at all. Uh, Lenape, on the other hand, uh, you know, they never give up. They never give up. Carla, uh, Carla Pfeiffer, Jen Pfeiffer, uh, said that uh, she's still proud of her team, even though, uh, you know, they come in with a 3-8 and eight record. Uh, they're going to give it their all on the field today. Sounds like we got a good game coming up, as we'll be back after this. Today's game on LDTV Sports, sponsored by Deborah Heart and Lung Center. For care that's extraordinary, demand Deborah.org. Comegno Law Group, specializing in general and special education law, representing individuals, families, public boards of education, and independent schools. 888 313 IDEA or ComegnoLaw.com. Zally's Fresh Kitchen Catering at ShopRite of Medford. For parties large and small, business and family, and more. Fresh ideas, fresh ingredients, fresh results. 855-ZFK-MENU or on the web at zallysfreshkitchen.com. Mammoth Restoration and Reconstruction. Providing 24-7 water damage emergency services for water extraction, water damage cleanup, and repairs throughout South Jersey. 609-859-5600 and on the web at mammothrestoration.net. Rothman Orthopedic Institute, the official team physicians of the Phillies, Eagles, and 76ers. For orthopedic excellence, think Rothman first. www.rothmanortho.com For more information on how your business can become a sponsor of LDTV Sports, contact Joe Malagrana, LDTV Underwriting Manager, at 609-268-2000 extension 868000 or by email jmalagrana at lrhsd.org As we are just about five minutes away here from game start as we'll soon be underway for this great matchup between the Eastern Vikings and the Lenape Indians. And we kind of have summer weather here today. The sun's out, close to probably 70, 75. There is a wind, so uh, the wind and uh, sometimes the sun uh, may make a difference. But uh, again, uh, uh, I want to correct something that uh, I said in the pregame that the um, Eastern Vikings uh, has not lost. Its last loss to uh, Cherokee in 68 games, actually 62. Like it makes much difference, but there's a lot of lot of games there that they have won a lot of win streaks for the Eastern Vikings. Um, the potential starting lineup for. Okay, we're going to wait. We're going to get our keys to the game first. It's time now for the Equitable Keys to the Game, providing millions of customers with life insurance, annuities, and other needs-based products since 1859. Equitable. Together, we'll build the right strategy for your future. Call at 732-452-7275. For Eastern, it's play with energy and effort. Yeah, uh, Coach Jamie McGuardy, I'm sure, going to tell our girls, you know, we're, we're playing a team, uh, you know, with only three, uh, three wins, but you, you know, you don't look past it, uh, keep your energy up and effort during this particular game. 
for Lenape. It's stay organized defensively. Especially going against their leading scorers. Uh, Cami Silvestro has nine goals. Jolie Brancaccio has eight. And Carly Schultman has six. So those three girls count for 23 goals so far this year. So they definitely have to be organized. And for both teams, it's finish, or not finish our chances. If the, if the chance is there, they have to bury it. Usually the first goal is very, very important. That's going to be important today. As those are your keys to the game, brought to you by Equitable. <laughs> Teams talking to their coaches right now is about a few seconds away from start time. Now again, we'll uh, we'll do the potential starting lineup for the visiting Eastern. Uh, we have Alex uh, Clark, uh, one of the captains, also a goal the goalkeeper. Uh, number one, Tiernan Harris, Jr. Um, Faith Quinn, a senior. Emily Eustace is also a captain, but she is on the injured list with an ACL. Um, Devin Shapiro is also a captain. She's on the injured list. We said in the beginning that they have a lot of injuries. Number seven, Lindsay Emerson, a junior. Number eight, Aubrey Benfield, a sophomore. Jolie Brancaccio, a junior. Uh, Cleo uh, Kokolis is also a captain. Again, she is injured with an ACL. Number 17, Grant, uh, Grace Francesconi, a sophomore. Cami Silvestro, uh, the captain, senior. We mentioned she is the leading scorer with nine goals coming into this game. Eva Sprewell, sophomore. Casey Eustace, a sophomore. And Izzy Benfield, a sophomore. And for the Lenape Indians start, potential starting lineup, we'll have Ryan Foley, ag goalkeeper. She is a junior. Uh, Kiara Quinn, also a junior, plays defense. Kylie McNamara, senior forward. Jody Lee, senior defense. Katherine Pappas, senior defense. Kiana Siegel, also a senior defense. Sierra Penny, captain, midfielder, also a senior. Shannon DeFeo, also a captain for the defense. Cindy what Cindy Wright, captain, junior midfielder. Kaylin Phillips, sophomore midfielder, and Alexander Mankowski, freshman midfielder. It's time now for the Jocelyn Sideline Report. Remember, your year with a one-of-kind yearbook for your student. Yearbooks and parent ads available online at jocelyns.com. I was able to speak to Lenape's head coach. As, I, as she told me, today's game is working together, as that is what they want to do today. And I also spoke to Eastern's head coach, as they're going to use their depth as their advantage in today's game, followed with six injuries so depth will be a huge part in today's game, as that is your sideline report. All right, and I know uh, Jamie McGrory is a male. He said she, because I made that mistake before on, on, on air, so that's okay. Uh, and he has been around for a long time, uh, 30 years as a head coach, 11 at Delsey, 19th at Eastern, coming in with a current record of 485 wins, 111 losses, and 47 ties. Uh, unbelievable. And for Lenape, P, Jennifer Pfeiffer, coaching history. She's a former player at Lenape P under Kevin Meter, volunteered for 2012 to 2014, also a JV coach from 20, 2015 and 2017, and is now a head coach since 2018. Right, and Coach uh, Pfeiffer's assistants are Sean McEnany, Aaron Einbinder, Laura Vapelius, and Ken Caluzzi. And for Eastern's assistant coaches, we have Bob Bry, Deanna Wood, and Megan Liberty. Okay, we're almost ready to go here. See the uh, coaches from each perspective. Perspective teams, we had the captains out, I believe, already for the coin flip, so uh, didn't really see that to see who starts the game and what field position the, uh, the teams will have. As we see the Vikings coming out onto the field first. Eastern in white, Lenape in red. And just a beautiful, beautiful day right here at Lenape High School. You 
did mention that the uh, starting goalie for, for Lenape, Ryan Foley, is a junior. Um, she's she's had her work, that's for sure. She definitely worked it, uh, this year. Uh, she's coming in with 108 saves, you mentioned uh, prior. So uh, I'm sure she's going to see some uh, some shots today, especially from the uh, the triple threat of uh, Silvestra, Brancaccio, and Sh uh, Schulman. As both teams going over their game plan real quick as Eastern breaks up as they're ready to go. And Lenape is also ready to go as we are just a few seconds away from start time. And Connor, unfortunately, we don't have a scoreboard today to uh, keep you apprised of um, hey, the time. Time's probably going to be kept on the field by the referees, but uh, we'll we'll try to uh, try to keep a tabs on it when they start the game. And as is, we're ready to go. Looks like Eastern's going to have a kickoff. They'll be facing the Sun. Good pass already. Intercepted by Lenape. It's number 19 with it. Cami Silvestro, the captain. Finds number 27, Izzy Bonfield. Bonfield. Benfield. Header by Lenape. Pass by number 10. Cindy Wright. As the ball is in Eastern zone, going to send it over to the goalkeeper, Alex Clark, also a captain. Ball is down the field, but number nine for Lenape to be able to get to it, it's Shannon DeFeo. As DeFeo kicks it out of bounds for a throw in for the Vikings. As it's number 19, Cami Silvestro which will result in a throw-in as it went out of play for the Indians. It was number six to throw it in. It's Catherine Pappas. Good pass there. Finds number four, but stolen away. In the zone and recovered by Lenape's goalie, Ryan Foley. As she sends it up in the air. Header by Lenape and looks like a penalty on the Indians will result in a free kick for the Vikings, led by number twenty seven, Izzy Benfield. As it was a good kick there. Just not able to go over the head of Ryan Foley as she will look to either punt this and she will intercepted by the Vikings but brought back by the Indians number five with it now Jody Lee Lee finds number eight now Sierra Penny balls down the field is number 21 for the Vikings as it goes out of play for a Lenape throw in Jody Lee I think it's going to be Sierra Penny now. They switched on the throw. As looks like it's number eight. Pass, or shot, excuse me, and it was a good save there by Alex Clark. As she punts it over. Good kick there to keep it in play. Still in play, and they whistle it out. It's going to be a throw in for Lenape. Yeah, it looks like it went off the foot of number 18, Carly Schulman. I think that's number 18. Header by Lenape, and it's going to go back out of play for another throw in for Lenape. The header that time. As 25 brings it up, Alexandra Mankowski. And it resulted in a throw in for, Len for Eastern. As now Lenape with it. Tempted through pass. Stopped by number three. Faith Quinn. 
And the ball goes out of play for a Eastern throw in by number nine, Emily Stewart. Number seven now with it. Lenape defense gets to it. And it's going to go out of play for another throw in for the Vikings. Finds number seven, Lindsay Emerson. Number 12 now with it, Jolie Brancaccio. As it's off by Emerson. As here's Brancaccio's shot. And a great diving effort there by Ryan Foley. A great save. Great setup by the Vikings. Good defense there. Uh, we talked about in the keys of the game about them being organized defensively on that crossback pass. And one of the fullbacks there was there to intercept it. As Lenape now with it. And we have a whistle. Looks like it's going to be offsides. I don't think it was offsides. It might have, it's tough to tell from up here. Uh, ball might have rolled up on her hand. I didn't see any kind of push or anything. As it looks like it's number... The pass finds number seven. Lindsey Emerson. Emerson shot just off to the left. Oh, that's going to result, unfortunately, on a, on a corner. We don't know if the ball was out before Ryan Foley tried to pick it up, went off her hands. Uh, in any case, it's the first corner for Eastern. It looks like... Number eight, Aubrey Benfield to take the corner. Good corner. And it's oh. going to go into the net. Just a goal for Eastern. Just a redirect just off of the fingertips of Ryan Foley for the Eastern's first goal. Kind of tough to see who got that. Maybe we can see it on a replay or if somebody can confirm it. When we're all bunched up like that, especially with the sun in our <laughs> eyes, we're going to use that as an excuse. And now it looks like Lenape will... Take the kickoff. As here's Lenape now with it. Down the field. They do trail one nothing. As it's going to be a Lenape corner, their first of the day. As unfortunately we are not unaware of the time remaining in this half. I would say it's about 11 minutes, uh, well, maybe about six minutes going into the first half. As number eight for Lenape, Sierra Penny took the corner. As Eastern now with it. As they will keep it in play. And they'll issue out of bounds for Lenape throw in by number five, Jody Lee. And we have where that Lindsay Emerson got the first goal for the Vikings today. As here's the throw in by Lee for the Indians. Still looks. Finds no one open, then throws it. Finds number four. Kylie McNamara. As now number 12 with it, Kaylin Phillips, and it will go out of play for a goal kick. And not a bad idea in that posi position to take the shot. Unfortunately, the ball rolled up a little bit off her foot, went way above the net. Ava Sprewell with the kick. Finds it, but it's intercepted by Lenape. As number three now with it for Eastern. Pass over. And it's going to go out of play. But a throw in for Eastern by number nine. Emily Stewart. As here's Emerson. Emerson's pass. Still in play. 
As number 17 now with it. Grace Francesconi. 27, Benfield. As now, here's number 19. Cami Silvestro. Shot is just going to go over the net. Great opportunity there for the Vikings. Just could not finish. As it will be a goal kick for the Indians. Okay, here comes a replay of that goal. As let's take a look at the replay sponsored by Ivory Rehab Physical Therapy on the web at ivoryrehab.com. As it was the corner kick goal by the Vikings. As it looks like Lindsey Emerson confirms goal number one on the day for the Vikings as they lead one nothing. Okay, we 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 have conflicting reports here. The truck says number twenty seven. The the uh, Eastern parents said number seven. So, you guys make the call. Pass by Stewart on the throwing, and she, she has it. The oh, nice attempted ball right shot, there. almost a chance there for the Vikings, as Stewart keeps it in play. Defensive effort by number ten to keep it out. Cindy Wright, as now number three sends it over to Alex Clark. As the pass by number three, Faith Quinn. Still with it. Finds number 19 as she sends it down, recovered by Ryan Foley. As number 19 came, Silvestro with the Attempted pass as number 10 with the header, Cindy Wright. As here's Emerson. Okay, we got confirmed that it was number seven, Lindsay Emerson, on the first goal. As it's going to be. Some subs coming in. It looks like number. 18 for the Indians is, we don't know. We don't have a 19, sorry. As here's the 18. throne by Lee. And it's going to go back to the Indians as Emerson kicked it out of play. Emerson this time has it. And this time it's going to be awarded to the Vikings. Yeah, a little push off there. As Silvestro. Finds her teammate. Shot oh. is in the net. What a shot. It's number 19. Or 7. Still unsure, but we believe it's number 19, Cami Silvestro, who has her ninth, which would be her 10th goal of the season. And that just was a bullet. There is no way that any goalie would have made that save. Upper left-hand corner. What a bullet. As it's 2-0 Eastern, still in the first half. Passed by 18. As it's going to go over to Alex Clark. Who will kick it off. As we're getting word, it's Carly Schulman, number 18, awarded with the second goal of the game for the Vikings. As it wasn't. Cami Silvestro, number 19. As Faith Quinn, going to kick it out of play. That's going to be a throw in for the Indians by Jody Lee. Lee, and it's going to go out of play for a Vikings throw in. As unfortunately they weren't able to keep it in play as here's Stewart. And now we'll want to go once again go out of play for now a goal kick for the Vikings. As they'll send it over to Ava Sprewell. Go kick here, but intercepted by number eight. Sierra Penny and 
Alex Clark recovered once again. Another punt this time. As Lee, now with it, it's number, number two, Kiara Quinn. And this one, grass is moving fast today. Today's game as they didn't expect as Alex Clark was there. As Clark's kick. Sent over as here's number eight now with it. Penny. As it will go out of play for a Vikings throw in. As subs come in as number 27 checks out for number one. Tiernan Harris. Number 10 now with it. Cindy Wright. Finds Lee. As the Indians just send it back over to Alex Clark as it will be. Looks like Lenape throwing. Here comes the uh, replay of the As it looks like. As let's take a look at the replay of Sponsor Ivory Rehab Physical Therapy on the web at ivoryrehab.com. As it was the second goal of the day for the Vikings. As it looks like number 18, Carly Schulman. She got the second goal of the game today. Good pass there. Intercepted by Sprewell. Still with it, Lenape. Lenape with the transition. Try to find number four. Still with it. Kali McNamara. As it looks like it will be. Looks like it will be a. Looks like it will be a goal kick. Goal kick. Just re retrieving the ball. As this time it will be Emily Stewart taking it for the Vikings. Good kick here as finds number one Harris, but stolen away by Lenape. Lenape's pass intercepted by Sprewell. Finds number 19, Silvestro. And 22 fell right on, right over the ball. Is still in play for Lenape. Lenape with a good pass there. Sprewell able to get to it before. And an easy kick by Alex Clark. As the pass by Penny. Penny brings it up. Pass. And the kick by Stewart to keep it out of play. Find Silvestro. Silvestro brings it down to the field to number 22. Casey Eustace. As Ryan Foley is able to walk over to it and pick it up as she punts it over. One by the Vikings. As number 12 now with it. Still with it, it's Jolie Brancaccio. As Tiernan Harris. Eastern still with it. Number 8, Aubrey Benfield. And it will be a throw in for the Vikings as it went out of play. Eastern still with it. As it goes out of play, last touch by the Indians. As here's Silvestro. Still in play. As Eustace tried to get to it before it went out of bounds.
As it looks like it will be. Looks like it'll be the Eastern's second corner kick. And they did score off the corner on their first goal. As we have some subs coming in for the Vikings. Here's the kick as good header there by Penny. Kick bites number 12, Brancaccio. As here's Stewart. Stewart keeps it in place. Here's Brancaccio, the front runner. And it luckily went into the hands of Ryan Foley. Yeah, very aggressive. They have to be aggressive against this Eastern Viking team, that's for sure. Turnover by the Indians after the kick as Lee kicks it out of play for a throw in by number nine, Emily Stewart. Lee couldn't get to it. Lenape with it now as here's Lee. Lee still with it. Finds it back to number four, McNamara. Stewart's pass, not able to get to any of her teammates. There's a little run and bump there by Lenape. As a sky kick with a quick roll by Alex Clark. Here's number eight bringing it up down the field. Benfield. Stolen away. And it will go out of bounds. For a throw in for the Vikings. And Connor, we're probably about the halfway point. 20 minutes remaining, approximately. Still in play. As here's number 27 with it. Here's Benfield. Benfield try to find number 12. But good defense there as... It deflected off white, so uh, the Chiefs will have a goal kick here. Again, Indians uh, did play them early in the year, and uh, uh, they're trying to avenge a 2 nothing loss from, uh, from a few weeks ago. The Chiefs had the uh, oh, Chiefs. Here I go again. The Indians. <laughs> <laughs> the Indians did have some pressure that, uh, you know, they have a very aggressive uh, goaltender there, Alex Clark, not afraid to use her uh, to, you know, pass back on the ground. As here's number 19, it's Silvestro. Silvestro, slide tackle is going to be called on there. It's going to be... It's going to be Indians ball on a re-kick. A free kick for the Indians. As they trail on this one right now, 2 nothing over the Eastern Vikings. Good pass here. Finds number 12, but it will go out of play. The thing with Eastern is they play on a turf usually, and Lenape usually plays on grass. So, yeah, they're probably. Takes a, I, I would think they're even, to. with the speed and the, the talent they have, I, I would think they're even tougher on, on the turf. But uh, it, I don't think it really matters much. They're, they're, just, they're so talented. Uh, They'll play on gravel. They don't care. Looks like we have a turnover by the Vikings. Which result in a throw in for the Indians. As number 12 couldn't do much there. It was Kalen Phillips. Ball still in play. And it'll be a throw in by Silvestro. Number 18's pass to Benfield and almost a miscue there by the Indians as Ryan Foley wasn't able to recover the save at first, but no one was there. Yeah, it looked like uh, it kind of bumped up on her and she didn't expect it. And as a result, she couldn't get a, a, a solid save on that. Gave up a, a, you know, a rebound. Fortunately uh, for the Indians, there wasn't any white shirts around. As Jody Lee with a throw-in. 
as number Lindsey Emerson. Here's a pass. Shot by number 10 is just going to go off to the left for a goal kick for the Vikings. And that shot was one of the captains, junior midfielder Sidney Wright. Good idea, unfortunately, just uh, wide to the left. As Ava Sprewell will take the goal kick. Good kick as number 17 goes down the field, but looks like it will be called against her. As Lenape now awarded with a corner. That's just a free kick. But just a free kick. Number, number seven, Kiana Siegel will take the free kick. As they're looking to break up this score. Finds a pass attempt and... They're going to call it a goal. Um, it's tough to tell from here. We maybe possibly assumed that the goaltender had control. Actually, it was a great setup. And apparently the, the ball was not in full control of the goalie. And, uh, and again, one of the Indians... Punched it in. It was tough to tell again who, who it is, and we'll try to pass that along. Anyway, it's a big goal. Cuts the cuts it in half with about 15 minutes left remaining in the first. As let's take a look at the replay on that previous goal. As it was the great free kick. As a lead to a pass. Thought Clark still had it, and unfortunately she didn't. And it rolls into the net for a Lenape goal as they make this a 2-1 ball game. Yeah, and even on the rebound on the, on the re, uh, on the replay, we couldn't tell um, the rebound goal scorer there. We'll pass that along. We get confirmation. As Eastern will kick it off. As Brewell finds number 12. Brancaccio, number 18, still keeps it in play. Silvestro, or Schulman, not Silvestro. As now Lenape all of a sudden. As it was number 12 for the Lenape Indians, Kalen Phillips is awarded the first goal of the day for the Indians. As she caught the score to one. And Lenape gets their first uh, corner kick here. As they're looking at to take an opportunity to tie this game. With not much time left here in the first half. Good kick. Good, good defense there by number 12. For the Vikings. Jolie Brancaccio with the header to deflect it out. As now Jody Lee goes out of play, but it will be awarded a throw in for the Indians. As the pass over to number four, Kylie McNamara. As this time it will be a throw in for the Indians by Emily Stewart. A little push in the back, that's going to get called right in front of us. So Eastern's going to get the free kick with about approximately 12 minutes left in the first half. As Izzy, Izzy Benfield will take the free kick. Boom and kick this time. It's going to be a little bit too far. Fairly easy save for Ryan Foley. And she'll punt it off. Header by number 10 for Lenape, Cindy Wright. As number 8 brings it out on the field. Nearly a turnover by the Vikings as the Vikings all of a sudden have it up the field. Sprewell's pass still in play for the Vikings. Finds number seven Emerson, but wasn't able to get to it in time as Ryan Foley makes the easy save. And again, that's uh, 
Real good defense there by Jody Lee. Marking up number seven, our goals, goalkeeper, a goal scorer, excuse me, Lindsey Emerson. As it's going to go out of play for Lenape throwing, Jody Lee has taken most of the throw ins today in this first half. As here's McNamara. McNamara's pass deflected by number three, Faith Quinn, for the Vikings. As here's number 23 bringing it down the field, Dias Sham. Number 12 now bring it up, but seven keeps it out of play. It's Kiana Siegel for the Indians. As this one will go out of play. As Emerson couldn't keep it in play, it will be a Lenape throw in. Good pass there. Intercepted by the Vikings, but brought back. And then a kick by Eastern. And now the pass over to Emerson all of a sudden as she brings it down the field. Jody Lee behind her. And a good defense there by Jody Lee as she goes down. No call. And a save by Ryan Foley. All right, that's good defense there. And as, as uh, number seven, again, or, or goal scorer, Lindsey Emerson, um, you know, did get by her. Parents wanted to push, but uh, might have might have gone down a little bit after the play. That's probably why there was no call on that. Pass by Lee to McNamara. McNamara with it. Missed on the kick. It's Stewart now with the through pass. Luckily, Ryan Foley for the Indians able to get to it. Yeah, they were looking for Jolie Brancaccio in that number 12. One of their main goal scorers. Looks like we have a push-off called on the Indians, which will result in a free kick, or a free kick. You're good. Free kick for yeah. the Indians, as it was a push-off on Eastern. Number seven takes it. It's Kiana Siegel. As now Benfield bringing it down the field. Good defense there by Kiara Quinn. As the pass. Still in play, finds, try to find number 18 for the Indians. Fortunately, we do not have her on our roster as Spreewell kicked it out of play for a Lenape throw-in. As let's take a look at the replay. Sponsor for Ivory Rehab Physical Therapy on the web at ivoryrehab.com. As we have... The nice save there by Ryan Foley to keep this a one-goal game. Good header there by Eastern. Jody Lee now with it, or Penny. As Stewart keeps it out of play, kicks it to near side of bounds line. And that's a good good defensive play there because she was was double teamed, didn't want to make any mistakes that that close to your goaltender. And I guess we have a tough to tell out of our sight. I'm just assuming it was a bad throw. This will be a throw in for the Vikings this time. Stewart's coming kick. to us. <laughs> Glad that was high. <laughs> 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 As now Stewart brings it up, finds number, try to find number 12, Brancaccio. As now number 19 for the for Eastern couldn't get to it. She was the leading runner. I thought maybe she would have uh, pushed it back to her goaltender, but uh, I guess went with the, the safe play. Pass by Emerson. Finds number 19, Silvestro. Sylvester's shot, just going to go over the net. It was a good opportunity there. I'm sure she wants that one back because uh, you 
got to at least make, uh, you know, Ryan Foley get it into her hands, maybe possible pounce on a possible rebound. No no rebound available if you hit the ball over the net that, that far. As it will be a subs come in for the Vikings as number 14 checks into the game for Lindsey Emerson. It's... Calarena Kokolis. Yeah, it looks like number 24. Number 14 against uh, the senior captain who was out injured. Uh, Cleo Kokolis. As Stewart. Tried to find Kokolis there, but it went out of play. As Jody Lee will throw it in. Finds number 11. Ashley Miller. As Kokolis, so we have a trip there by Eastern, but still line of piece possession, so no call. As number 12 bring it down the field, it's Kalen Phillips. Benfield all of a sudden finds Kokolis. Kokolis with numbers. Still with the, the nice cross, cross pass. And great defense there by the Indians. Still in play, however. As Kokolis shot right to Ryan Foley. But a good chance there by Cal Katarina Kokolis. And again, you see, it was one of the game. One of our keys of the game was uh, that the Lenape had to be organized defensively. And uh, uh, they're doing a fine job. Again, not coming off their marks. As here's Spreewell's pass. Find Stewart. Intercepted by the Indians. Her pass then intercepted back by the Vikings. It's number 17 with it. Grace Francescone. As now Lenape with it. Spreewell's pass. Good give and go there. As Silvestro. Still with it as Kokolis keeps it in play. Jody Lee with the defensive effort there. Stewart still with it. Finds Kokolis. Kokolis. Cross pass. A good defensive there. As it will just sail over the net. A good set up there. And again, uh, on the long pass, went right to number 12, uh, Jolie Brancaccio. Again, who uh, is second in goals to the, uh, coming into this game. With eight. Again, just over the net. As the goal kick by the Indians is Lee with it. Finds number 11, Kiana Siegel. I know my approximate Mickey Mouse here. I've got uh, three and a half minutes left, approximately in the first half. Stewart's throw in. Finds Kokolis. As it will be last touched by Ashley Miller. On the kick by Kokolis. Resulting, I believe, in it's the third corner kick for the Vikings. As it was a throw in. And unfortunately, try to find Stewart. Stewart couldn't keep it in play. It will be a throw in for the Indians. As once again, Jody Lee for the throw in. Good header there, but intercepted by the Vikings. Stewart winding up for the kick. Luckily, it wasn't turnover. As Brancaccio, Stewart, ball right in her position. As Silvestro, with a nice through pass there to Kokolis, intercepted by Jody Lee. As Lee will kick it out of play for a throw in for the Vikings. Stewart's pass intercepted by Lee again with the header. As it, once again, another throw in. As this time is Silvestro. Silvestro's pass finds Benfield. And it will go out of play. So no one's able to get to it. It will be another throw in or a goal kick. There can't be much time left. Uh, again, we're approximate here. We don't have the scoreboard today. Uh, I got a little under two minutes. As 
As number seven for the Indians, Kiana Siegel will take the goal kick. Good header there by the Vikings. As Silvestro keeps it in play, but she is called. Looks like she... Lowered her shoulders, which will result in a free kick for the Indians. There's about a minute left. Still still plenty of time to go down to the field and tie this thing up. What it, what they set, definitely don't want to do is uh, to have Eastern score their third goal before the first half. As here's number two for the Indians. Intercepted by Benfield, but back by the Indians. Number 12's pass, Kalen Phillips, goes out of play, issued to the Vikings for a throw-in. As number eight, Aubrey Benfield, as there's two Benfields on this roster. And again, just before that throw, we saw the ref on the opposite side of the field look down at, at his watch, so uh, it's, it's got to be close. At this time, it will be a throw in for the Indians with not much time left, but they do have it in the zone of the Vikings. Good throw in here, but going to be intercepted by Stewart. Number eight. Sierra Penny with the throw in. Still looks. The pass can be intercepted by number three, Faith Quinn. And it will be a goal kick for the Vikings as Ava Sprewell will once again take it. As here's Sprewell. Good kick here. Still in play as the Indians have it. It's number 12. Kalen Phillips. As here's Aubrey Benfield. And that will do it for the first half. Okay, we as had some entertaining soccer there. Uh, you know, it looked like... Uh, Eastern came out blazing. They scored their first goal on that corner kick, and uh, they got the second one. And on a re-kick, a re, you know, a free kick, uh, about 10 yards outside of the 18, there was a, a rebound. Again, we thought uh, Alex Clark had control, but we saw on the replay that uh, gave up the rebound. And again, Kalen Phillips got the goal for Lenape to cut that in uh, ha lead in half. As you see there on our scoreboard, there, Eastern at the half. Leading two to one. As we'll be back with our sponsors. Today's game on LDTV Sports, sponsored by Deborah Heart and Lung Center. For care that's extraordinary, demand Deborah.org. Comegno Law Group, specializing in general and special education law, representing individuals, families, public boards of education, and independent schools. 888 313 IDEA or comegnolaw.com. Zally's Fresh Kitchen Catering at ShopRite of Medford. For parties large and small, business and family, and more. Fresh ideas, fresh ingredients, fresh results. 855-ZFK-MENU or on the web at zallysfreshkitchen.com. Mammoth Restoration and Reconstruction. Providing 24-7 water damage emergency services for water extraction, water damage cleanup, and repairs throughout South Jersey. 609-859-5600 and on the web at mammothrestoration.net. Rothman Orthopedic Institute, the official team physicians of the Phillies, Eagles, and 76ers. For orthopedic excellence, think Rothman first. www.rothmanortho.com. For more information on how your business can become a sponsor of LDTV Sports, Contact Joe Malagrana, LDTV Underwriting Manager, at 609-268-2000, extension 86000, or by email, jmalagrana at lrhsd.org.
The field here at Lenape High School, uh, after any kind of weather, is certainly unpredictable. It becomes very difficult at times to, to host an event uh, after large amounts of rain, and, and at times uh, our schedules are impacted. The inconsistency of the surface is a game changer. We're playing teams that practice and play on turf all season long, and we're prepping for them on grass. It's such a disadvantage for us. Most colleges do not play on grass anymore, so it's extremely beneficial for our student athletes to be playing on turf at the high school level because it just prepares them for the game speed that they're seeing in the future. As a former college field hockey coach, when we watch student athletes recruiting videos, we actually refuse to watch anything played on grass because it is not applicable at all to the collegiate game, division one, two, or three. There are certain skills that we can't even coach these girls to learn on grass. Advanced and elite level skills require a certain speed of the ball, the consistency of the ball to be stopped when executing the skills, and grass doesn't offer that. We've had the turf for about 13 or 14 years, and going from the grass to the turf was amazing for our program, for the sports programs in general. Playing both field hockey and lacrosse in the stadium and on the turf just creates such a better environment. It just creates an exciting atmosphere and the energy is just so high. It's lined for football, field hockey, girls lacrosse, boys lacrosse. So the turf has really brought equity to both male and female athletics. The youth programs use the turf as well uh, and it's a great springboard as they move up into their high school seasons. You never have to worry about it being overused. It's always ready to like be able to play on. It's made for athletes. It's made for competition. It's great for any sport at any season. It doesn't matter if it's rain or shine, if it's hot or cold, you get a consistent surface to play on.